What do we got? We have some whiskey. So this is a new, a new import from our friends at Impex Beverages. Mm -hmm. And this is called Injury Single Malt Indian Whiskey. Indian Whiskey. Indian Whiskey. We've had Indian Whiskey. We've had Paul John. And we, we like We've it. had, oh, we, we like, like it very it. much. We've had Amrit. We like that too. We like that too. <laughs> so they know what they're doing. I think so. They know what they're doing. I think so. So you want to read not pour? I'll read. Okay. I, but, I, I'll, but I'll wait for a second. Okay. So we can get the pop. Ready, ready, ready? Wait. Ah, here we go. Oh, that's oh, nice. nice. And then possibly the glug glug. All right, right, let's do a little glug glug. Well, why don't you, why don't you read? Well, no, okay, let's do this. Yeah, you're right. Oh, well, that's nice. The teas. Oh. Can Ooh. we get another one? Can yeah. we get another one? Liquid gold. gold. God damn it. That's spelled. Liquid gold. Uh, Indri is Go named ahead. after the quaint little village in Haryana State in India. Situated in the catchment area of River Yamuna, and I apologize for probably brewing all of those words, nestled in the foothills of the mighty Himalayas. Indri or Indriya in Sanskrit also refers to the five senses smell, taste, touch, sight, and sound. Trini, because this is Indri Trini, okay. Trini is three wood. It's an award-winning inaugural expression from Piccadilly Distilleries. The expression is a marriage of malts matured in ex-bourbon, ex-French wine, and PX sherry casks, carefully curated by the master craftsman at the distillery to bring out the individual character of each wood. The malt distillery commenced production in 2012. Today, Piccadilly Distilleries is the largest independent malt manufacturer and seller of malt spirits in India. The distillery proudly uses no fossil fuels to generate its power needs. This uses a traditional Indian six-row barley. The copper pot stills were actually made in India. They have 40,000 barrels under maturation. Jesus. That's, uh, that's a lot of whiskey. That's a lot. You know what we gotta do? And... Gotta get on a plane. Because of the subtropical extreme climate, uh -huh. what do you think the angel share is? Uh, I think I've read it, so I, I, I just say it. 10 to 12 percent a year? I think it was, yeah. So, if it's normally two to four, right. this is hyper-aging. So right. you get something that's three years old, it's more like a uh -huh. you know, nine or ten year old. Wow, impressive. Pretty nice. Impressive. I like the color. It is. It's pretty. Very pretty. Shall we go in? We should go in. Sir? Cheers. Cheers. Oh, very nice. We got it. We got yeah. it all going. We just I, got the trifecta. I kept the ham hock down to the bottom. We got the pop, we got the glug glug, and we got a good ring. Mm -hmm. Nice. A ring a ding ding. Ooh, wow. What's the, I think this what is, is uh, 46, this? right? Yeah, that smells hot. It does. It looks great, though. It's got a really, really pretty color. Nice amber. Getting like a lot of pepper on the nose. Maybe a little orange. Hmm. Hang on. Lead the witness. You did. See now, I smell citrus. Thanks. Nice go. Nice go. You ruined everything. I'll take my glass and go. Now I'm gonna have to say random things just to sound smart. <laughs> Isn't that what you already do? <laughs> yes. But you don't have to tell Ben that. Jesus. Jesus, we're trying to build it's an audience here. Some random thing. Trying to build an audience. I thought we were just drinking. Well, we could just drink, but I didn't realize we're on. Shh. There's an audience. Silence. Are we breaking the fourth wall? We that wall, but the wall's been shattered, stepped upon, thrown out the window. Yeah, see, I can't get past the citrus. There is like some kind of funky spice though, and I can't quite tell what it is. It's almost like a little herbal note. Hmm. That is interesting. It's got a nice mouthfeel. Yeah. It's a little oily. It comes up pretty hot. And you get flavor front to back. There's no dead spot. Yeah, no, you're right. Because yeah. at first I was thinking it was all up front. Yeah. It's not. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's in the back and there's it's a finish. It's all there. Mm. 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 That's nice. Mm. Mm. Chewing the whiskeys. Mm. That is very nice. nice. It's very, um, not surprisingly, three woods. It's very woody, oaky. You get a lot of that grainy kind of texture. Yeah, but it's really nice. It has a nice warming finish. It's a little short in the finish, but it's nice. See, now you said citrus, and now I'm getting a little it's bit nice. of like orange. Yeah, like a little candied orange. Getting a little bit of cinnamon, maybe a little like 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 a not not black pepper. It's not that kind of peppery. It's almost like a light like a, like a smoky paprika. Oh. Paprika. A paprika. Paprika. Something like that. Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. That is very nice. I don't know that I can discern the what the three the, the, the impact the, of the three woods. The French wine. 
I think I get a little bit of sherry, and yeah. I think I get a little bit of the bourbony kind of up front. See, I get more of that. I don't get but, so much of the. But I'm, I'm not getting the the French wine. I like, although I don't know. Well, what did I they say get. French wine or is yeah, it? Yes, like, it says ex French wine. It's not like cognac or anything like no, that. It's like it a just wine says French wine. Okay, well that makes sense because so, it's not like that candied, like you know that uh, that strawberries and cream yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, thing yeah, you get yeah, from a cognac yeah, barrel, yeah. like in the brand yeah, or something like that. And it's not really super. It's not super dry. No. No, it's nice. No. I think there's a lot more influence. I, I get a lot more like a bourbon type yeah. influence. But maybe yeah. a touch of the other stuff. Yeah. yeah. But I think I get a lot of the bourbon, a lot of that oak, the barrel. Mm. Um, it's not as, to me, as like vanilla-y no. that you would normally get from like a bourbon kind of barrel. No. Or toffee or whatever. It's more of like baking spices after you get to it. Yeah. It's more on the spicy it's, side. It's more like the bourbon-y kind nice. of thing. That's good. I like that. I wish I could like maybe describe it better. But all I'll say, it's really nice. It goes down really easy, and it's good. You should just say some, you know, random things. It seems mm. more random things. I did just get like a, like a like a brown sugary kind of note, you know, and maybe some like like maybe some spiced apple or like a spiced pear kind of thing. So they're tasting notes. They actually say you have some nutty flavors, mm. and you get. Burnt pineapple, citrus, and raisins. No, nah, I'm getting it. I got the citrus. Yeah, that's it. That's, it. that's all I got was like the citrus. But but I like it. But I, you get is a gentle spice and wood characters, which I got that. It's nice. nice. Mm -hmm. That's nice. What's nice, too, is that it's at a good ABV. Yeah. So it's not too watered down. It's not overpowering. So I can see this on its own. I could actually see mixing with this. I could see a nice old-fashioned with this. Well, at 46, it's yeah. not going to be overpowering. You can make a cocktail out of it. Absolutely. Manhattan, old-fashioned. Yeah, I think, I think, I think nice, it's cocktail worthy. That'd be a nice replacement but, for this. Because it doesn't, like, it doesn't seem, it, it has that kind of quality to it yeah. as opposed to some yeah. single malts that yeah. I don't think mix that well. No. But yeah. that's good. I like it. I would go, I don't know. It's, it's tough. It's tough to rate it because it's... it's i throw it as... Young as it probably is. Yeah, I'd say it's 87, 88 for me. But yeah, it's like a, it's like a B plus yeah. A minus. Yeah. That's very good. That's good. That is very very good. I like That's it. That's good. I like it. That's good. And it, and it has like an older flavor to it, mm -hmm. mostly because of the, the ridiculous yeah. angel share they lose. And obviously, as nice. you can see, it goes down pretty easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. thanks to our fine friends. Yes, the fine folks at Impex. Yeah. Sam Filmus, Chris Booty, all those good guys and ladies. That work and the there. people at Piccadilly. Yes. They've, they've done a nice job. Yes, it's very good. So, sir, cheers. Cheers, cheers to you. And cheers to all these fine people. Cheers.